G'day dickheads, vaping fucking bogan. Back again for another Ridgy Didge review. Hope you're all having a fucking good one. I'll tell you what, I've got a good one here. An oldie, but a goodie. It's been out for a little while, a little number from MCM Mods. The SSSP, or the Triple SP, you might say. Beautiful, one of one acrylic number here. Have a look at the fucking back on that. Beautiful marble, white and purple, orange. All mixed in, we got some sparkles over here. I'm running a Nightmare RDA from Suicide Mods. I forgot to show you cunts, they actually do an Ultim cap for the Nightmare RDA as well, which is what I got on here to get a bit of a matchy match action. This gorgeous drip tip is from Nix Tips, N-I-X Tips on Instagram. Check him out, stabilized wood and acrylic matching all together just beautifully. So I so said this one's been out for a little fucking while now, dickheads, but when I was over at Vapor Expo Birmingham, I was handed one of these and uh, yeah, would be a fucking crime not to review it. Now, what is this fucking mod? Well, it's a bit of a fucking jack of many trades. It's a squonk mod for starters, so single 21700 or single 18650 mechanical squonk mod. I'm running it though in series mode, so you take out the squonk section and you just bung in another fucking battery, dual 21700 series mech mods, and fuck me, she hits. One of the hardest fucking hitting series mods that I've had. Very, very good performance. But that's not all she does. You can also get a parallel kit for this and run it in parallel mode, so two batteries working together. And you can run it in just a single battery mode. No squonk, no second battery, just one battery in there. Don't know why you do that, but it does work. So. Lots of fucking options with this one. We're going to check it all out in a fucking moment. Before we do that, a little vape advocacy. Yeah, dickheads, uh, fucking make it a point every bloody video. And right now, the Philippines speak of the fucking devil. This here mod comes from the Philippines. The Philippines has been devastated by their fucking president's decision to basically outlaw vaping. You can get arrested for vaping in public places and any government buildings and shit like that. Basically vaping outside of your house, you can get arrested in the Philippines now, which is pretty fucked up. There are vape shops shutting down left, right and center. And as we know, there are tons of great fucking mech mods coming out of the Philippines for many years now. So very concerning for a mech head like myself who loves the Filipino gear. I don't know what's gonna happen to companies like MCM or Vicious Ant or other Filipino mech mod manufacturers. I'm not sure whether they're still going to be able to manufacture, but maybe they're going to have to wholesale and then just distribute from outside of the Philippines. It's pretty fucking worrying for uh, the consumers, but also for the fucking businesses over there. So there's a uh, link in the description to a petition. Please go and sign that. You don't have to be from the Philippines. Fucking sign it. If you're a Filipino and you know about advocacy and you've got some links, please comment below and let's fucking help our Filipino brothers and sisters out as their government goes full fucking dictator mode. On a lighter note though, let's crack open a fucking beer. Got another cola beer here, dickheads. This one's a little kinky though. <laughs> From Dayton Family Brewery, this is Kinky Cola. A black cherry cola sour. Now this sounds right up my fucking alley. Black cherries, yep, love those. Fucking sour, tick, fucking winning. And cola, well let's fucking see. Now, last time I did a fucking cola beer, apparently I said, cola a lot. <laughs> I didn't fucking notice it, so apologies. Let's see if we can cut out some of the colas this time round. <laughs> Black cherry cola sour. Well, Cam's not the most mystical guy, but when he made this beer, we nearly lost our minds. Cola. Ch -ch cherry cola. As it tastes like Coke, cola. Cola. Ch cherry cola. That's what it fucking says on the back. Sorry, dickheads. There's all your fucking colas. Cola, cola, cola. Too much cola, Bogan. Let's see how she fucking tastes. Well, there you go, dickheads. Looks like a fucking stout or Coke <laughs> on the nose. Oh, yeah, I can smell the uh, cola. <laughs> Cheers. Now, that's what I'm fucking talking about. Way more cola than the last cola beer I had. 
<gasps> yeah, wow, you can taste the cherry in there as well. So you're getting that very traditional and it's got much more of a soft drink Coke kind of feel to it than the other one I had. Then you've got the fucking cherry in there and I can really taste that. It tastes like that Dr. Pepper kind of cherry, if you know what I mean. The fucking cherry Dr. Pepper fucking tastes like that, the cherry in here. And then you get that fucking uh, lovely sour finish. This is definitely the better of the fucking two. Fuck Lola, this is the fucking cola. Very much a sour, very much like a chubba chup, like a cola fucking chubba chup, hard candy with then a, a fucking Dr. Pepper kind of cherry feel and a sour finish. That's a fucking winner. Let's pair it up with a liquid as usual. Of course, of course, we're gonna pair it with some Kurong Cola from my Bogan Brews Juice line. As you can probably guess, it's a fucking cola flavor. Somewhere between hard candy and the traditional sort of soft drink. I fucking love it, but uh, I'd probably say that. Check it out for yourself. Let's see how she goes with this fucking beer. Fuck, that's going nicely. That is going nicely. The flavors of the two colas mixing beautifully together. Much better than the last one because we got more of a sour, more of a kind of soft drink kind of feel with this. And it's going beautifully with the uh, cola flavors of the bloody juice. Yeah, that's gone super nicely. And the fucking sour in the beer is making the liquid a lot more sour as well. That's fucking good. Anyway, dickheads, enough fucking gushing over the beer. Let's get down the up and bloody close. Let's break this thing down. Should be fairly simple. There's not a lot fucking to it. Then we'll talk pros, cons, prices, and everything fucking else. Naturally, one SSSP mod. Now, this is a special edition one of one acrylic, but they do have on their website a clear pearl blue violet acrylic. They've got a pink, they've got a blue, they've got orange, and then they've got black Delrin, and I think one other color that's sold out. So there's quite a few fucking colorways to choose from. An eight milliliter squonk bottle and the brass holder it goes inside of. A brass 18650 battery adapter and the usual MCM mod certificate of authenticity. So let's get into it. Now it does look like that sort of boxy kind of square shape the SSS mod had, but it does now have the ability to get a parallel kit for it. You do need to buy the kit for parallel use separately, which does annoy me a little bit, but they have given the option to get a parallel kit for it, which you don't have with the SSS. So let's go over it without the batteries and the squonk bottle installed. Up the top, you've got a hybrid connection, very nice. You got some little uh, holes in here, so if you need to get it out, uh, you can get some needle nose pliers in there. But really, as we'd expect with MCM mods, the threading is just fucking beautiful. So you can just spin the little fucker all the way out with your fingers. Very, very fine, precise threading. A nice little feature I'm glad to see. They've got a bit of Delrin in the top cap there, which means you're not gonna have to worry about shorting your batteries, just a little bit of safety. You've got the fire button at the top here, which is the detonator style they've done before. I really like it. Got a nice stiff spring to it, but not too much. A little bit of an Ultim button in there. And it's a telescopic system, so you just unscrew the switch, pop your battery in there, and then you snug it back up and that telescopic system takes up any battery rattle. The switch itself, pretty simple. You've got a silver plated copper contact in here and that is a sort of constant contact. It's gonna make contact with your battery and then as you push down on the switch, it's going to make contact with this contact here. So you don't have any arc marks being put on your battery terminals. You may have to uh, take this apart and clean inside, but uh, you won't have to clean any marks off your battery. Now to take it apart, I just get a needle nose pliers or something like that. A lot of the time you don't even need to. You can just use your nail and you can just spin out the little Delrin piece. Out he comes. You've got the spring in there and you've got the button mechanism, so this is gonna slide in and out of the brass housing. You've got the Ultim button on there, and then a brass sort of uh, body to it. As you can see, there's a little Delrin insulator in there, so that spring is not carrying any current, which is brilliant, and then you just screw that little Delrin cap back on there and thread him in. Moving our way down the mod, we've got a nice little MCM Mods logo set into the acrylic there, and this piece of acrylic is fucking stunning. Look at it, we've got a bit of sparkle action happening over here in orange. Spin around to that fucking beautiful marble, white and purple and orange. Just beautiful. And then keep going around and that just molds back into some more of that uh, purple and the orange and the sparkle fleckily bits just look wicked with that orange. 
and the brass. Got a bit of branding on the side there, underground MCM mods. You'll have a serial number engraved down the bottom there, and then that's the brass plate on the bottom there. Now, there's not really much to break down here, dickheads, because it's sort of a single battery squonk or a series configuration at the moment. There's really just a brass plate up the top here, and there's nothing coming down the sides because, well, it's running in series or it's running a single battery, so it doesn't need any of that. And then down the bottom, you just got a brass plate. So it's really, there's really not much for me to fucking take apart. I mean, I could take that brass plate off at the bottom there, but all you're really gonna see is just the contacts in the bottom and they're just silver plated copper. So there's really not much more for me to take apart. Unfortunately, I don't have the parallel kit. Uh, that is sold separately, but the parallel kit, you take out these two bolts and these two bolts and you put on a whole new top and bottom plate because you're gonna need rods that run down so that uh, you can bridge the, the, the two terminals. So can't show you any of that, unfortunately, dickheads, but let's put this fucker into a few of the different modes. So you've got uh, the squonk mode, and basically all you're gonna do is take your squonk bottle, which is just a brass sort of sheath with a silicon bottle on the inside, you got a little uh, threaded piece up the top here, which you can uh, unscrew to get your bottle out. So you can always just unscrew that and the whole bottle comes out, but really there's, there's not much to see there. It's just a, a little stainless steel plate and a nozzle slot. And then it's got a little Delrin insulator you're putting on the top there. And really the only thing to point out is there is a little notch or a groove cut into here on a particular angle and that's gonna line up with this little battery terminal down in the bottom of the mod. So if you're gonna use this as a squonker, you're always gonna put the squonk bottle on the left-hand side of the fucking uh, logo on the front there. As you can see, you can spin it until it locks into that little slot. Now they've angled the squonk bottle once it locks into that little groove, they've angled it so that you've got sort of one side more open than the other. Now, I thought that was because they were kind of orientating it for a particular, you know, hand um, way, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Why didn't they just make it mounted frontward so there wasn't any gap there? It would have given you a bit more access and they could even have cut the brass back a little bit further, a little bit so that it didn't stick out past the acrylic and you would have had a lot sort of more access. The way they've done it, they've put it on this angle, and so you've got to reach around, you've got to get your finger around the brass there to squonk it, which I don't quite understand. If you rotate it the other way, it still leaves you a little gap here, a little bit of the silicon bottle visible, so it doesn't hide the silicon bottle if you say using it as just a single battery, not as a squonker. So yeah, I'm a bit confused as to the reason that they have offset the squonk bottle there so that it's not just the whole fucking front here open to, to squeeze. It also would have meant that if you were orientating it in different hands, it wouldn't matter, but now it really just sort of feels like it's sort of designed for a, a left hand, because you can easily get your finger in here if you're using it in your left hand, but if you're using it in your right hand, well, you've got to reach around this brass bit here. So I, I'm just a bit confused as to what the reason is behind that. Now, if you don't want to run it in 21700 mode, you have this brass battery adapter. So your 18650 battery would go in here. I would put the brass up the top of the, uh, of the slot because then it's going to cover up that gap there and you're gonna have just a lovely brass sheath around your 18650 battery and squonk bottle on this side. But really, just get a 21700 and stop being a bitch. So as I said, I've been running it in 21700 series mode. I've been using the VAP Cell Golds, which are a 4000 ma fucking 30 amp battery. Chuck in one battery. I go in the uh, 510 side first. Then you wanna screw in the 510 plate. Then you're gonna go in the other battery. Remember, dickheads, you gotta have one up, one down, okay? So we've gone positive up on the left, we're gonna go positive down on the right. It doesn't matter which way you do it, whether it's positive on the right or positive on the left, just make sure they're not going in the same fucking direction or you will end up in trouble. Then you put in your button, and there you fucking go. Looks really quite nice, this colorway with the uh, exposed gold batteries. Goes nicely with the brass and the orange. Just fucking stunning. So there you go, dickheads. I reckon that bat does the up and bloody close. Let's jump back up top. Let's talk pros, cons, prices, and everything fucking else. 
So there you go, dickheads. A bit of a fucking squizzaroo at the SSSP. What do you reckon? Pretty fucking well built, hey, but we'd expect that from MCM. Clever design, lots of different functions, lots of different modes. But let's get into the pros and cons. What do we like, what do we dislike? Well, being able to run it in different modes has definitely got to be a fucking pro. Right out of the box, without having the fucking uh, parallel kit, you can run it in squonk mode or series mode. That's a fucking win for me. You then also got the parallel option. Now, that's an extra cost when you buy the device. You can buy it as a kit. You may also be able to buy it separately down the line, but uh, the fact that you've got the option there to to, to get the parallel kit if you do want to run it as a parallel. It's fucking awesome. Now you can run it in single battery mode, but I wouldn't really call that a fucking pro. Who's gonna carry around a mod where half of it isn't being used? <laughs> it just seems daft to carry a, 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 a dual battery mod around with one battery in it, but you might call that a fucking pro if you wanna run it non-squonk mode, single battery. <laughs> I love the look of this one. I'm a big fan of the aesthetics. It's not the most comfortable mod because of those hard square lines, but I actually really like the fucking hard lines on it, particularly with this kind of S shape that they've cut it out to. It just looks really fucking good. And the acrylics that MCM use are always fucking top notch. And this one here, yeah, it's a, it's a fucking looker. Build quality is obviously a big fucking pro with any MCM mod. Come to expect that uh, top-notch fucking machining and the threading and tolerances are fucking beautiful on this. Very, very fine, very, very smooth. I didn't need to grab anything and wrench it to get it out. It just spins seamlessly. So very, very happy with the production quality once again. 21700 has definitely got to be a fucking pro for me. Love the battery power, particularly with mechanical mods. So fucking yes. Performance is a fucking huge pro with this one. One of the hardest hitting series mods that I own. It just fucking ramps up. Lickety bloody split. Very, very low voltage drop. It's probably because there's really not a lot going on here. You've got minimal threading, contacts going directly to each other. So it can take a pretty decent sized atomizer. I've got the 28 millimeter nightmare on here and I've got a couple of mils to spare. So you could probably go 29. I don't think you'll get a 30 on here. You'll start to overhang the mod with anything bigger than 28 because at 28, I'm bang on the edge of the mod, no overhang. But yeah, if you don't mind overhang, you could probably go 29 if you like. But cons, what have I got to fucking complain about? It's nothing major, just a couple little things. First thing, my uh, MCM mods logo came out of its little setting. There wasn't enough fucking glue in there, boys. But it's an easy fucking fix. Couple of drops of the fucking super glue and she was back in her fucking place. But gotta mention, you need a bit more glue sometimes, guys. Fucking check that shit. I'm not quite sure why they've done the offset squonk bottle. It just doesn't really make sense to me. It would have given you more access to the squonk bottle to have just made the brass sheath go back a little bit further and have the squonk bottle sitting front on so that the whole squonk bottle was available with the acrylic cutout. You know, wrap your finger around, didn't matter which side, you could get it in there. It just didn't really make sense to I me. Mean, not a big deal. You just got a little bit of a brass sheath on one side, which kind of looks nice. The brass matches with the rest of the mod, but it just doesn't make sense for functionality why you wouldn't have the squonk bottle just sitting front on with no bits of brass sheath in the way. I might be wrong, please tell me if there's something I've missed there, but I just couldn't quite figure out what they were doing there. The only other thing I'd really point out is it's a very square and kind of, not sharp, but jagged mod. You've, you've got quite a few corners under here, up the top, down the bottom, and they kind of jut into your hand a little bit. If you like box mods and you've been vaping for years and you're familiar with that box mod shape, it'll probably feel just fine to you. But some people might find it a little bit square, a little bit boxy, and not the most comfortable mod. I really quite like the way it wraps around here with my two fingers underneath uh, or two fingers inside the fucking cutout and then one underneath it. That feels really good there. But when you come to fire it, you, you're reaching up over that. You're not, you're not in here firing with your pointer finger. So it's not the most comfortable mod to hold, but uh, fuck, it does look good. Apart from that, I don't really have anything else to fucking whinge about. So what is it gonna set you back directly? They're selling for 180 US dollars for the black and I think uh, one or two of the acrylics. Some of the other more exotic acrylic colors are 200 US and so not much more. If you wanna get the parallel kit with the mod, it's an extra 55 bucks. So 255 and you've got a squonk mod, a series mod, a parallel mod, and if you really wanted a single battery mod, <laughs> 
<laughs> so four in one essentially uh, for 255 not fucking bad. But yeah, 180 bucks I think is a very fucking decent price for such a versatile and well-made mod. But you cunts be the fucking judge of that. Don't know how much longer we're going to have access to these beautiful Filipino mods, so it might be the fucking time to nab one if you've been thinking about it. But that about does me, dickhead, so I'll put the usual Instagram and Facebook links down in the description if you want to check out what this Muppet gets up to outside of the YouTube videos. If you want to support my channel, please do hit the like, hit the subscribe button. They're both fucking free. Make sure you turn on that little bell icon down there so you get notified when a video goes up. But let's face it, YouTube are a bunch of fucking malakas, and a lot of people don't get notifications. So hit my Twitter page if you want to be notified everything I share on YouTube. YouTube, I automatically tweet. But if you really want to keep me behind the lens cunts, then hit my Patreon page. As I've said a thousand times, this is an independent channel, which means there is zero payments for doing these reviews. I don't do sponsorships. There's no sneaky jumping the queue fees. And if you don't know, YouTube aren't fucking paying us uh, any fucking ad revenue anymore. Every video that I post is demonetized. So if you want to help a cunt out, then pledge a few bob. I do special vlogs and content on there every week you won't see here on YouTube, as well as all the extra gear I get. I send off to the Patreons. But if you can't, that's all good. Sit back, sub on your fucking dicks off, all your bloody tits off. Don't give a shit what it is you're vaping on, whether it's a fucking fancy piece of acrylic from the Philippines or cheap and cheerful plastic out of China. As long as you're not fucking banging the bungers, that's all that matters. Cheers for tuning in. Cheery fucking oh.